Breaking news. You will be surprised what Southwest govern leaders are doing to Yemi Osibanjo. Yes, Southwest leaders are mounting pressure on Osibanjo to step down for Tinubu as Fai Yemi has dropped already, has already stepped down for, you know, for uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. They are encouraging and asking the vice president to do the same. They said he should step down, you know, not just for himself, but for the good of Yoruba land so that they don't miss the ticket. Well, these are things that are happening right now. And uh, this is what is happening. Uh, the vice president is one person who uh, Tinubu feels should step down for him. Yeah, Tinubu feels should step down for him. And also Yoruba leaders are sharing, sharing the same thought and idea. And also, you know, want, uh, you know, uh, the vice president to also step down. You know, they also want the vice president to step down for Ashiwaja Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Well, this is what is happening now. Uh, the vi with the vice president step down, today is day three, the last day of the election. And we're bringing you up to speed as the matter unfolds. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Last minute consultations are still ongoing to reduce the numbers of aspirants contesting for the All Progressive Congress presidential tickets. Reports that Northern APC governors have asked President Muhammad Buhari to select one out of five names given to him as the party consultation for, president, for presidential candidates. The five aspirants that were initially chosen are Ashiwaja Medbola Tinomo. Rotimi Amichi, David Umayi, Kayode, Fayemi, and Yemi Osibanjo. Of the five aspirants, Osibanjo, Tinubu, Fayemi are all from the Southwest region. According to Vanguard, Southwest leaders, including traditional rulers, are said to be pressuring Osibanjo to step down for Ashiwaja Medbola Tinubu, just like the, guard, the governor of Ikiti State. Fayemi has also stepped down for Tinubu already. Fayemi is currently the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. He is said to be backing on the support of his brother, brother governor in the APC to grab the party's ticket. However, some governors reportedly eyeing the vice president slot have already thrown their weight behind Tinubu and Osibanjo. Sources says the Southwest leaders want one from the zone, hence the pressure on Osibanjo and Fayemi to step down for Tinubu. The governor of Ikiti State, Fayemi, has stepped down already. A top party leader said a lot of meetings are ongoing. If the meetings yield result, only two aspirants will remain and the primaries will not take place, will not, will not take long to conclude. Sources close to Tinubu said the Former Lagos State Governor is not only is not only ready to step down for is not ready to step down for any aspirant, including the vice president. There is ongoing consultation, and the leaders, traditional leaders of the Southwest, are on the vice president pleading with him to step down for Tinubu. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. The leaders of the Southwest are asking the vice president to step down for Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Okay, they are saying you step down. They are asking him to step down for Tinubu. But what will it be? What will the answer be? Because um, they want him to step down, but is, is it going to happen? We don't know. We don't know if the vice president will say, okay, I'll step down. We don't know. So these are the things happening right now. We know that, um, you know, uh, fire me. The governor of Ikiti State has stepped down already. The governor of Ikiti State has stepped down already for, you know, for 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 Tinubu. Uh, but will the vice president also do? Yoruba leaders feels that he should step down. Okay, he has already had opportunity. He has served as a vice president. That should be enough. But is the vice president content and happy with that? Is that enough, or he wants to be the vice president? You know, and you know, uh, finish up on his career. On a high note, well, by the end of today, we'll be bringing you up to speed on who has become the party flag bearer. By the end of today, 
the consultations are still on. Uh, Fayemi has stepped down. Uh, the the uh, Akpabio has stepped down. Ibukunle has stepped down. Quite a number of people have stepped down already. We know that um, former Senate President Ken has also Namani has also stepped down. A lot of persons have stepped down. But we'll keep you up to speed and to know if the Vice President will indeed step down for Tinubu or how they will battle it out. Who will win? Who will the uh, you know the delegates vote for at the end of the day? So these are some of the things going on. There are some of the things happening. And it's about time we begin to reconsider and look at some of those things happening so that we don't make a mistake. Okay, if we vote in the wrong person, it's going to affect us all. It's going to affect us all if we vote in the wrong person. Okay, it's going to affect us all if we vote in the wrong person, just like we did the last time. And so the best thing to do is that every one of us have to, you know, dutifully vote and vote well. Okay, so this is what is happening now. This is what is going Okay, this is what is going on. Every one of us have got a duty and we all have to speak out. Okay, we all have to speak out. We cannot be quiet and allow those things to happen. Okay, we all have to speak out. We all have to ensure that we do something worthwhile to ensure that, you know, there is safety for all. Because with the, with the current occurrence, with the way things are going, it will really take God for things to become better in this nation today. To take God for things to be better. You know, how bad things have gone, it will take God, mm, it will take God really, you know. So these are some of the things happening and, um, uh, you know, elections are right approaching. Political parties have picked their party candidate and every one of us are watching, waiting to see how things will work out. So we continue to, we continue to speak out against everything and anything, you know, that will not make us really become that which we ought to be. As a people, as a nation, there is real serious call for concern that at the end of the day we, 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 we deliver, you know, on what we are supposed to do so that, you know, uh, the, 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 whole, the whole process and everything that ought to be, okay, become a reality for us all. Remember that every one of us have got a duty. We must speak out and we must vote. Don't leave the voting to some people. They will manipulate the, the system, okay? We must vote and we must vote well. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you have a voice. From us, it's bye for now. Bye. Have a good day.